Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Neverline Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, it is that time of the year again. And here on to the East Coast, we've had so many different storms. The last storm, well, not the last storm, but because the last one we had like, like a very hard freeze. But one of the storms that we had, it destroyed the garden. So I have been persevering. I want you to take a look at the garden because this is a old fashioned garden. This is how my grandmother did it. This is how my mother did it. And I'm sure my great, great grandmother, you know, they raised their food, especially my grandmother and my grandfather that I never got to meet him because he was like 22 years older than my grandmother. Because back in the day, that's how it was. You know, when she got married, she was actually considered an old maid. But nevertheless, my grandfather used a mule, a mule to plow the ground and have his garden. He hunted on his land. And, you know, it was just old-fashioned. And I still carry that with me because that's kind of how I was raised up. That's how I've always did my gardens. But we've got another freeze fixing to come in in a couple of days. And it might even be in by tomorrow. I don't know. Starting tomorrow. The day is probably about the 18th, I think it is. But nevertheless, I want to take a look at my garden because it's starting to, you know, do very well here. But what you see here, first of all, you see this little white pipe here. This is PEX piping uh, with one foot rebar at each corner. And this is the way that I helped keep the freeze off of the string beans that were coming off. I did lose some of the stream beans, but I don't think it had anything to do really with that freeze because the plastic, I had some thick plastic, it did help out in protecting those stream beans. But the problem here, the weather is so, and such a variety, it gets warm and then it gets cold. And, you know, the beans start coming up and different things start coming up, but especially the stream beans and they just stop. So I do have some coming up. Um, but with this next freeze, I'm hoping that it'll just pass over. I'm actually not just hoping, I'm praying that it'll pass over. Majority of these um, plants here I have raised up from seed. A couple I have purchased from Walmart. But I also, in case, you know, something does happen, I already have probably about two week, uh, two or three week old tomato plants coming up. I started seeding out again. So let's take a look at the garden. So right here is okra that I have a row of okra and some planted on another side. And the wind is going to start picking up because I believe a storm's coming in, a rainstorm. But uh, and plus some Arctic air, I can feel it in the air. But these are the okra. I did plant them a little earlier to get them up. This lets me know how many okra I will be getting. Hopefully this uh, uh, next storm coming through will not destroy them. This plant right here was one of the first little plants or seedlings that I planted. I started with seeds. And because it just was not warm enough, okra like it hot, I did plant it early. I kind of expected possibility wouldn't, you know, take off. But it just couldn't, the, the plants just could not hold into the cell trays. I transplanted them. They just could not hold up. You know just being like that it just kind of got stuck well that one did make it and so that's actually the size of my okra that should be but these other ones i replanted and um or replanted seeds usually i direct seed or direct sow and so i've got a whole row of okra coming up and i really am hoping that you know this uh freeze will not take them out so i'm going to be watching it um plants are kind of starting to get too big to cover up and when you got this many it's really hard so I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do but I'm just hoping that yeah this freeze will just not hit here onto the east coast here the uh, cucumbers are coming up and they're probably I did uh, plant those from seeds and I'm hoping that the ones that's in the ground if the freeze does hit, they'll con continue to come up. So there's uh, there's the cucumbers, and it goes right into the squash. Now these are gold prize straight necks squash, yellow squash. 
and uh, they're coming up real good or growing real good and coming up real good some of them I did most of them I did plant from seeds into the sale trays that I got from Hall's Tools and um, try to keep them up on a grow light because we've had such strange weather here and uh, some of them I direct seeded them into the ground in case those plants that I transplanted into Dixie cups would not make it so actually they're starting to take off that's a uh, zucchini right there it's got some blooms coming on it right here is a small wonder oh uh, I see a small wonder winter squash is starting to run and I wanted to put it up on a trellis to see if it could do good onto a trellis uh, this is uh, straight necks again the gold prize and so there this these like I said a variety on this plant right here I already got some um, squash coming on I got blooms and usually before I have blooms and squash my plants are huge but when the weather is not doing right you know you just plants don't know what to do they get confused down here was a what do you call it uh, sunflower seed or sunflower and it was doing pretty good but um, honestly I think the the fertilizer just kind of hit it maybe possibility that's I think that's what's going on with that so here on this row that's the pex plight pipe I also put a little tie there in the middle each one to hold it with a one foot rebar at the bottom wasn't sure how I was going to do it I was trying to stretch it out this was crooked because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it but trying to stretch it as long as I could I didn't know whether to bow it over or you know just do it like that the time I got to the middle I, they will look more evenly but it's not about looks it's about performance so here also I got some bell peppers that I have planted and uh, that right there and that's uh, the string beans coming up that's the bell pepper that planted these from seeds that's another bell pepper also over here these are um, I believe see what the Maconis, 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 uh, bell peppers, and um, but anyways, they are bell peppers, and there is a bell pepper over there. I try to put them together. Um, I believe one of these are going to probably be a, uh, a Spanish uh, pepper. So I always. I put my names onto little sticks and tags and on the trays, but then I found out that you forget. So, you know, when you start planting how to replant, you kind of have a tendency to forget. Oh, check out the butterfly. Oh, he's so cute. I love butterflies. So, yeah. So, uh, the string beans, I had to replant. I, this is like the third time. The ones that's up. You know, they're really still at that holding stage, but, and the ones that they, I planted the second time, it's like they break through the ground, they're fixing to pop up, and they just stop. I, I'm pretty sure, I tested my pH, I feel like everything's okay with that, and they die. And they just start to die. So, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But I think it's because it's just not warm enough. It's just not warm enough that's one of the bows right there and I was not sure if I would just you know take more pex I think it's called pex tubing it's a uh, like plumbing tubing that looks very neat but you know you got to experiment and see what works I was just pretty much trying to get a good ground cover here is the garden peas now the first storm we had that rainstorm that came through that everybody got snow and ice across the state um, my garden got destroyed the potatoes and the garden peas it took three plantings these are got the little stringers onto it and they are I'm ready to put the cattle panels up so they can reach for those because they're start some of them are starting to reach and uh, 
but I'm gonna get through this uh, another spell of weather and see how it does. I think you know the garden peas will do fine. Now will they hold up after it turns hot? Hot because this garden is like probably six weeks behind schedule. These over here are the potatoes I replanted. And if I had to do it all over again, I just didn't know the weather was going to be like this. I would definitely not have put the, the garden peas and uh, potatoes into the ground. I mean, excuse me, into the middle of the ground here into the garden. And they are different sizes. Seems like even up under the shade, they're doing a little bit better than even into the sun. But, you know, the garden's doing pretty good. It's just starting to take off. Here are different varieties of tomatoes. These are um, celebrities that I raised up from seeds into the hostel uh, cell trays. And uh, I think I had to replant those twice because it, it was just the weather. These are Better Boy beefsteaks. And that one is a red beef steak. I got it from Walmart. Uh, let's see. Lowe's. Lowe's or Walmart. Either which way. Uh, because I decided to, you know, get behind. I lost a couple tomatoes even though I got some growing. So I just decided to pick up some. They've already got blooms on them. A lot of my tomatoes have already got blooms on them. So uh, I also picked up a cherry tomato. I just usually don't. The cherry tomatoes really get big here. Uh, big in, as far as size, but also to plant. And it has so many that's got blooms on it. They've got so many tomatoes onto them. You know, a lot of it goes to waste, but it's really not waste because I do give them to the chickens. But I decided, you know, maybe I'll try to dehydrate some this year, uh, freeze dry some this year, experiment with that. And because I just didn't really want to plant cherry tomatoes because I just didn't want, I don't like waste. These are the celebrities I raised up. They're kind of looking, I thought a possibility was just not enough water. The ground is very moist here, so, but I'm thinking a possibility that just too much fertilizer, but if they make it through the frost, they should pull through. On this side is another row of, a little piece of row of uh, okra and then here is my gold prize squash again planted on this side it goes on down and it hits right into the celebrities over on this side is another row of some okra so if all this passes through these storms that's fixing the, the brew up you know my garden will be it'll be it'll be uh it'll be wonderful is what it's going to be a lot of variety of stuff. I've expanded the garden out this year. Got some sticks in it, but that's part of when you're breaking up new ground. So hopefully, you know, I'm praying that that it won't. It's supposed to. It just won't get that cold. You know, it won't freeze. So if it gets cold, that's one thing. But if it freezes, then yeah, all this is will probably be destroyed again. Over. A, Back there, I have some potatoes, different variety of potatoes. The one in the black, uh, I have potatoes in it. I had a sweet potato. I was trying to get some sli sweet potato slips. But that container, I've learned from it, it just um, holds too much water. So the potatoes rot, started rotting. I was wondering why they wouldn't, they hadn't, have not came up. You see the bucket sitting there from that freeze. That was great for what I had planted then out here. Some of the plants I raised up from seeds. But and decided to go ahead and get, you know, sometimes plants are telling you they got to get they got to get where they're supposed to be and which is the garden. So I put those buckets over it, but I found out even as cold as it was, somehow the, the cold still went through that bucket, hit them a little bit, but they didn't make it. So the plastic is still on the ground from the last storm and just letting it sit there. I did pick up a lot of the plastic, folded it up and put it up last week. This right here is potatoes. This is, I believe it's a different variety of potatoes. I'm pretty sure a couple of different ones in there. They're doing real good. Um, I did cover them up with that plastic 
they got hit on the edge with the frost they, but it I was surprised they and it wasn't as big as they are right now uh, about uh, probably about six or seven inches smaller in diameter but they're doing really well over here is the carrots and I did a video how the plant carrots so check that video out and they're doing really well but what, I got this bright idea to take the plastic I have plastic you'll see duct tape on the top of it which worked well with this wind and just that held it on the top and because uh, I think it was two pieces but anyways I get this bright idea to fold it up and let it drizzle rain and it sowed some of my seeds too deep into the ground so that's fine because I went back in and direct sowed seeds again and and some of those seeds that got in the ground too deep are coming up so I actually will have uh, uh, carrots coming off at different times which is great they are so thick so right now they're kind of bowed over a little bit because I did give them a drink of water a while ago but they're, they're picking you know they're standing fixing the stand right back up but I noticed down in here you know I got smaller carrots coming up this is one um, bunch of carrots there's smaller ones coming up you know these are are just taken off so you can just take them brush them like that they'll stand right back up but and these are doing really well so I like it to when you have your carrots coming off at different times you eat them you pull them up it thins them out but at the same time it keeps you uh, with a long season of carrots and so with some of them I'll be able to can I'll be able to eat off of them and they'll continue growing you know as I keep pulling they'll, the other ones will get room for the other ones and continue growing so I'm really excited about this bed just hope there's that storm does not come through here because if it does then look at those potatoes back there now I'm not saying that, that you know I might get might you just don't know how many potatoes you'll get off they might be all small since they're bunched up like that but to me that's fine I'm just thankful to whatever I may get you know all this is kind of a new experience you know doing the carrots um, you know different I just it's a good thing to sow some and go back let them grow and then go back and sow again because then that way you just don't have all of them coming off at one time he just it just produces a long season of enjoyment so if the potatoes should end up being small that'll be fine with me these potatoes are planted at the same time but you see the difference of being in a raised bed and being into the garden. Yes, I have my rows healed up really high. This is uh, the old-fashioned way. Uh, here, where I live at, because of the rain, I don't. It just seems to do better. The plants do better when they've got more dirt around them, more dirt with the roots to, to to go through. It's not compact. I did take my hoss tool high arch wheel hoe to try to make my rows come through but I like them a little bit and then I just go back through and, and pile some dirt up to where it made a row but I like the high arch wheel hoe and I'm learning that but this is the old fashioned way I just like my I just seems like here on the east coast seems like the plants do a lot better if they just have more dirt around them and just keep that dirt broke up a little bit take the little your little hoe um, cultivator hoe type thing and just break this, that dirt around the plant so it can get air into them and to the roots and they just seem to do really wonderful so guys this is my garden these are the potatoes over here and that's that container that I've learned you know there's even though it is a container for plants it seems to hold maybe it's because it's deeper I don't know but I, it just hold, seems to hold moisture more so um, probably if it had there's a possibility I didn't look up underneath to see there's holes maybe it's just that m amount of dirt is just not enough drainage even though the holes are pretty big so you know it, you take things you don't take it as a failure you take it as a learning lesson garden is a learning lesson you got to learn your soil you got to learn your your area your region you've got to learn the weather you got to watch the weather you got the plan and you can't get discouraged you just got to be determined 
And I said in one of my videos that I believe this is a year that you've got to be determined. It's going to take determination. And uh, anytime you have a garden, it's going to take determination. You know, what time you put into it, that's what you're going to get out of it. You just can't plant seeds and throw them out there expecting them to take care of themselves because they're babies. They're babies. My squash, those are pitiful looking squash considered what I usually have. But I am so thankful to have them. So hopefully... You know, this spell will go past and it won't hit here on the East Coast. And this garden will just, after that, hopefully just take off. Here is the garlic. Different varieties of garlic. Uh, there's elephant ear garlic garlic down there. That's bunch of onions that are starting to seed. And, you know, I've heard you could, I usually just pinch those tops off there. There's round ones. Pinch them off to keep them seeding. But this year I'm just going to... You know to see if I can catch some seeds out of them they're very they're very easy to grow and um, so that's gonna be something new for me to try this year a year of new and different things also watch the video how to plant elephant garlic very easy and uh, enjoyable now I do notice that this is some of the leaves are um, in different colors you know got that but some of them look pretty healthy so it's getting water right now it looks like it needs some more water um, so but we've had this weather it's just really playing effect onto the plants they just don't know what to do hot then cold and that's how it's going to be this week here is my marigolds the zinnias um, there's some rose moss coming up they put up put out pretty flowers and this is some See, those are gold, uh, straight neck squash. Anyhow, they're straight neck squash. They need to be watered. Um, I had planned on transplanting these. I was trying to wait for this weather to see if I could just go ahead and get them in the garden. There are tomatoes uh, right there, celebrities over there. They're homestead tomatoes. Those seeds came from Haas Tools. There is another squash. All right, more squash coming up. There's a strawberry and basil, which in another what is that i forgot what i even brought, brought purple kind flower so i got these aloes i've never grew that, those before and there's my pepper variety of pepper plants some bell peppers some uh hispanic peppers banana peppers another tomato growing over there and this is my um what is that thing anyways uh I have a video on it for some reason I can't think of the name of it but this is this is great I'm putting my strawberries in there I tried to put them in containers and I wasn't having very much luck just buying with the roots so I decided these aren't permanently going to stay in here but I'm hoping this will keep them alive so I can get them into a location I don't have a location made for them yet so to grow my own strawberries so that's pretty um, covered all the way around there's some at the bottom I'm just seeing if they'll continue putting out uh, they are a different type that one right there must have died or maybe I didn't plant it let's see yeah it died so I mean sometimes it's like that and I would I wish I had a place more so to put these at the soil is pretty good but guys it's just the weather you know the plants don't know what to do that's uh, moss rose again Guys, thank you so much for watching uh, the video on a variety, old-fashioned, old-fashioned variety garden. Here's the meat birds. They're doing really well. They don't fly out. They, they're, they're living the good life. But thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up uh, so these videos can more so get out there. If you've learned anything from this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when the next video is being loaded up and guys learn to make it a great day going through a lot on this earth but God is still in control so we are to make it a great day God bless you